In this part of the mechanical training series, we are going to talk about viewing your mechanical design in a VR environment. Also, we'll talk about some of the features SimLab Composer is offering to enhance the VR experience. This is the tractor model that we used in the previous part of the series. And additionally, we have imported a garage model to serve as a set for the tractor. Click on the workbench icon and switch to the virtual reality workbench. The first step is setting the VR position. Click on Start Position. A human model will be loaded into the scene. This model will be used to determine the initial view in the VR experience. Click anywhere in the scene and adjust the rotation of the model, making sure it is facing the tractor. The next step is setting the ground. Setting the ground in a VR scene specifies which surfaces the user is able to walk on while using an HTC Vive or an Oculus Rift VR kit. From the Visual Effects menu, select Make Ground. Then while holding control on your keyboard, click on the surfaces you wish the user to have the ability to walk on. And when you're done, click on the green mark to confirm the process. The third step towards running the VR experience is checking for the lighting settings. From the object tree to the left, click on Environment. In the Environment Attributes panel to the right, you can set the HDR as your lighting method, or you can switch to the sun and sky system. Click on the sun direction icon to set the angle at which the sunlight would be emitted into the scene. You can also determine the sky strength, which controls the overall ambient lighting in the scene, as well as the sun strength, which controls the intensity of the directional light emitted from the sun. Click on the Launch Viewer menu, where you will find two options. The first being Desktop Mode, which would run the VR experience on your computer's screen. This mode is helpful when testing out a scene prior to running it on your VR mode or in the case of not having an HTC Vive or an Oculus Rift VR kit. The second option is to run in VR mode, which would allow you to run the experience using a VR setup. Click on Desktop Mode. Move the mouse to look around the scene. To walk in the scene, use the arrows on your keyboard. Press Escape on your keyboard to exit the VR session and go back to SimLab Composer. Click on the Animation tab and press Play. This is the animation we created in the simulation part of the training series, and we are going to incorporate it in the VR experience. Following the same method of adding animation in a 3D PDF file, select all the keys in the timeline, then click on Create Animation Sequence. Type in the name for the sequence and toggle the Create Reverse option, which would create a reversed version of the animation as an animation sequence. You also have the option to delete the keyframes from the timeline to clean it up. To play the animation during the VR session, we need a trigger to activate the animation. Select the Loader's Bucket and in the Attributes panel to the right, switch to the Objects tab. And under Action, Set the type to multi-action. Click on the actions list, then click on the add action button. Set the type of the action to play sequence. Notice that the panel at the bottom automatically switched to the sequences tab. Click on the loader sequence to set it as the action and click OK. Add another action and set it to play sequence as well. Now select the reversed version of the animated sequence. Adding the sequence and its reversed version in an action list while the interaction type is set to loop would cycle between the original animation and its reversed version on each interaction. Run the desktop mode to test out the scene. Hold the left click and aim the white pointer at the bucket. Once it's highlighted in yellow, release the left click to interact with it. To play the reversed animation, Aim at the bucket again and release the left click.
Go back to SimLab Composer and let's create another animation to add to the scene. We are going to revolve the podium and the tractor on top of it. Switch to the Animation tab and increase the number of available frames by modifying the end frame. Set the current frame to frame 90 and rotate the podium 180 degrees. Now set the current frame to frame 180 and rotate the podium and an extra 180 degrees in the same direction. As you can see, the podium is rotating correctly, but the tractor is not revolving with it since it is part of a different assembly. To add the tractor to the podium assembly, from the object's tree panel to the left, drag the tractor's assembly onto the podium's assembly. Select the switch's assembly on the control panel and set the current frame to frame 3. Rotate the switch upwards to mimic the state of being switched on. As you can see, both the switch and the podium move at the same time, when in reality, the podium should start turning after the switch has been turned on. Select the keys that control the podium's animation and slide them to the right, making the first key of the podium's animation have the same frame rate as the switch's animation last frame. Now select all the keys in the animation timeline and click on Create Animation Sequence. Name the sequence and click OK to create it. Click on the switch and from the object's attributes panel to the right, set the action type to multi-action. And in the action list, add a play sequence action. And click the turnaround sequence to attach it to the action. Run the VR experience. Go back to SimLab Composer and from the Scene States menu select Capture. Scene States allow you to capture several attributes from the scene and store them. When the captured scene state is activated, it will reapply all the attributes it stored back into the scene. In the Scene State dialog, disable all the attributes except for the material attribute. Then select the tractor's assembly from the object tree or, by holding shift and double-clicking one of its components in the 3D area, click Capture from Selection. Select one of the red components of the tractor and from the panel to the right, change its material color to yellow. Select the tractor's assembly again and click on Capture from Selection. Change the tractor's color one last time to green and select the tractor's assembly and click on Capture from Selection. Select the red button on the control panel and in the Attributes tab set the Action Type to Scene State. The bottom panel has automatically switched to view the scene states you have previously created. Click on the first scene state with the red tractor to attach it to the action. Select the green button and in the Attributes tab set the Action Type to Scene State. Select the scene state with the green tractor to attach it as well. Do the same for the third button and attach the last scene state to it. 
Let's create a couple of scene states for the light indicator on the control panel. Select the red indicator and click on Capture from Selection. But make sure that the only attribute selected in the Scene States dialog is the Material attribute. Change the light's color to green and click on Capture again. To apply a scene state in SimLab Composer, simply drag the scene state onto the 3D area. Now we need to synchronize the light indicator with the podium's animation. Click on the switch that has the podium's rotation sequence attached to it and click on Edit Action List. Click on Add Action and set the new action to scene state. Now select the scene state that has the light in green to attach it as an action. In the interaction type on each click, switch the type from loop to run all, so that the light turns green once the podium starts moving, instead of having them follow each other. Run the desktop mode to view the final result. The ever-evolving SimLab VR technology can transform your mechanical 3D presentation to an interactive experience. Aided by the powerful features in SimLab Composer, create an amazing VR environment in just a few clicks away.